everyone, how are we all? I hope you're doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a very exciting video. I've been very much looking forward to filming this one. It's going to be a balcony terrace update. So if you've been subscribed to the channel for quite some time, this time last year, myself and Zara embarked on a little transformation journey to give our little fire exit balcony a bit of a makeover and it actually is my most viewed video to date on my YouTube channel. If you didn't see it, I'll link it up in the top corner and also down below. It was it was amazing. It was so much fun to do. So obviously it's a year down the line and to say it's in need of a bit of an update, a bit of a TLC is very, very true because it just needs a bit of love. So I'm going to show you currently where we're at and what our plans are. And then in this video, we're going to be giving it a transformation to give it some life in preparation for spring, summer 2021. Before we do, if you are new here and you've just clicked on this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into the video. So just to give you a bit of a walk through this is our kitchen and you walk through onto this which is our little balcony space we're really lucky to have this it's actually technically a fire exit but we don't obstruct it you can literally just come straight through so um yes this is it and last time we filmed we laid down the grass we built the furniture we painted the table we put up the trellis we hung lights but obviously we've had a really harsh winter and we're still kind of in winter because it's very very cold the plants aren't really loving life they I mean, a lot of them sadly haven't survived the winter, which is really, really sad. We've been bad plant parents, so we need to completely unpot all of this. We need to give this a proper sweep down, sort through it all. I've also been given this from our downstairs neighbour, which is like a big crate hang-on basket, which we're going to um, definitely give some love to. Our rosemary. Oh, <laughs> look at it. It's not loving life. This has kind of all fell down in the wind, so we just need to just, yeah, give it some love. It's not going to be anything too drastic, but we're going to hop in the car now and drive to our local B&Q to get some new plants. So let's go to B&Q and start the transformation journey. We've made it to B&Q, we've got this little trolley and we are currently having a look for some outdoor outdoor foliage and we also need some plants to go in like a hang-on basket. Ivy is what we got last time. These are three for six pounds. I think if we get a couple of these, they'll be, they'll be great because they lasted until the winter. Yeah, that's lovely. How much is that one? Three yeah, grab that one. I think I, I think Ivy's a good one just because it dangles. So let's get three of those. So we're all done in the plant section and we're just going to have a little look through to see if we've got any artificial plants because we don't have actual sunlight on the balcony. So it might be better to get an artificial one. If not, then we're done. We're absolutely not doing artificial plants because they're 42 pounds. Oh, or 68 pounds. So that's a no. They, I mean, they look cool, but no. It's so tricky because the shaded areas of our balcony, sometimes it gets sun really early in the morning, other times it doesn't, so it's trial and error. So we're back from being q We've got all of the plants that we need. And I also just quickly nipped to Poundland because um, I thought we could get a little artificial one cheaper in being q And rightly so, this was three pounds and it comes in a lovely stone ceramic pot, which I think is great. And we also forgot cable ties, so we got some um, neat and tidy cable ties in Poundland in two different sizes. And let me quickly show you what we also got in the range. Oh, Zara's here, by the way. She's raring to go. We're very excited. So this is a, it's more like a privacy screen slash trellis. Again, it's artificial, so, but it looks really real. We spotted this in the range a couple of weekends back and it actually expands. So it's like a cross hatch design, I'll show you. So it's like that. So we're gonna put that on the real ends, as I said, but what we're first gonna do is just pull everything off of the balcony and give it like a proper sweep and a dust and a clean so it's ready for the stuff to go back on. I was I just saying to Zara, it's been a year since we lasted the balcony and if I've got the footage, I can try and insert it, but it was pretty bleak, wasn't it? There was like yeah. blue window sills. I forgot oh. about the blue window mm -hmm. sills. And the waste pipe was exposed and the floor was all rusty. It was just not very nice. I think so. the other thing to mention as well is we really have inspired yeah, our the, surroundings. Yeah, the neighbours the neighbors are following suit, which is great. Anyway, I'll pop you on a tripod and we're just going to pull everything in the kitchen and give it a good sweep. So we're just gonna get rid of all of the dead plants. We aren't doing half as many plants this year and um, I think that's probably for the best because so it just doesn't get any sunlight. It's just really tricky, so ah! And I've just got a couple in my hand. Okay, 
Okay, so it's pretty much all done. We've emptied out all of the dead plants. We're not going to throw these pots away. Do not worry. We're actually going to pop them in here in the storage boxes. Because um, we're not going to have this many out. Just because it just makes a bit more sense to have a bit more space. So what we're going to do is just brush the whole floor. And then we can assemble the privacy trellis. So we've taken the ivy off of these lights just because we think it looks better as keeping them natural and we're just intertwining it back through this trellis. This was from b and and because we've emptied our little plant pop buckets out, we had some of these hangers. These are the back of door hangers, so we just slotted them on the trellis and then we've hung the baskets on, so that's going to act as more plant storage if we choose to fill it. This is all artificial, like I said, just because we don't really get that much light out here. And it's looking brilliant. Yeah. That looks fantastic and it's completely covered the waste pipe which is behind if you can see that so this is the trellis and we've just expanded it look it literally collapses to nothing and then you can just expand it out for however long you want which is perfect to the height of our thing and it just encloses it in so nicely and just gives us a bit of privacy over the car park i mean we've got some scenic views in london but car park's probably not one of them <laughs> right we're just going to use some um cable ties and just secure it trellis is up and I th honestly think that is brilliant. That is so good, it's pre like pretty much to the end of the balcony give or take. Just means that when we're sat on an evening, not that we're doing anything up here, but you know, it's just nice to have a bit of privacy. This actually was kindly donated from our downstairs neighbour, the same neighbour who actually gave us the sideboard. So it's got great taste, this is from Etsy. So what we're going to do is just pop some compost in there and then oh, we're going to punt the ivies in there and hope that they grow. Coming back with the fresh herbs, it's another year. We picked these up in Waitrose and they were reduced to £1.25 each. So we're gonna do one of rosemary and one of fresh mint. And they're gonna go in the fresh herbs here. grab some of this baby bio plant food it's supposed to help um feeds for four weeks so it's going to pop some of this in the water and give the plants a bit of a water it's only one pound yeah. So we're just gonna replace these seat mats. I showed you these before, I think. Or maybe I didn't actually. These are from Home Bargains, and we picked them up for when they're like six ninety nine or something. Yeah, I think they're like six ninety nine. So we just thought they'd be nice with like the monochrome effect, and they're more padded. So we're just gonna swap these out now. quite cold we're still not in summer yet but the balcony is done the refresh looks amazing let me show you the finished result So everything will be linked down below, but it's pretty much kind of how we had it last year with the artificial grass, 
but these two new plants just look really really nice here i love how these have turned out bought from being cute i think this one was 10 pounds no, this one's eight pounds and this one's ten pounds. I will link this or something similar, um, which we got from the range. But I just love the way that turned out. And then this planter that was gifted from our downstairs neighbour just looks so cool. There, it really fills the space. Obviously, we've just got our um, little. Uh, do you know, really terrible. I've forgotten the name of these, but hopefully they'll bloom with some beautiful red flowers on there. Um, and then we've just got another piece of foliage down here, some fresh mint and some rosemary. And then our little seating area with these cushions and this blanket. This is from John Lewis. It's 100% wool. It's so it keeps you so warm. Um, and this is the little trellis. Maybe we'll get some plants to go in here because they could look really nice. But it looks okay for the moment. The lights are actually from Amazon, and I'll link those down below. They're brilliant. We got them last year, like I say. The dining set is the same one from IKEA. We just upcycled it and painted it black, and it's just turned out so well. These candles, this one was from Home Sense years ago. It's a really lovely, like, bourbon one. This is from IKEA, and then this is the one that we got from Poundland, literally. Three pounds, which is brilliant. It looks really cool. The cushions are from Home Bargains, and the rug is IKEA as well. And this welcome mat is from B&M. Oh, and this is our little mini barbecue that we just put inside a wicker basket just to make it look a little bit nicer and an empty plant pot so that is everything i really hope you have enjoyed this little balcony semi refresh <laughs> like i say i'll link the original video that we did which is the complete transformation a year ago up in the top corner and also down below but thank you so much for watching we're genuinely so excited to spend some lovely evenings out here with the sun that is just going down over there with a glass of wine, having some tapas, maybe that kind of thing. Let me know if you're giving your spaces a bit of a refresh this year too. I'd love to hear more about them. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I post videos like this all the time. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.